Hi, good evening. In tonight's Unity tutorial from Omar Vision, I'm going to go over another shader graph. This one, this time tonight, is going to be what I'm calling a tune shader. And the tune shader basically is the difference of a normal shading like you see here to a tune shading where the shading is like stepping into three gradients or four gradients, basically not continual. So it has this kind of um, look to it. So let's see how we do that. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up a new Unity project so we could all start together from scratch. And I'm gonna name this project um, Tune Shader Tutorial. And it's gonna be a 3D project and I'll say Create Project. Okay, so a default 3D project opens up in Unity and I have um, the default packages here. So first thing I'm gonna to need to do is install the lightweight render pipeline package. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to the window package manager and I'll say advanced show preview packages. This is um, Unity 2018.3. And I'm gonna go scrolling down to where it says render pipeline lightweight. So just installing this one single package will give me the shader graph and the lightweight render pipeline. And I'll click install. Okay, the lightweight render pipeline installed. And I could see it right here, lightweight RP. And if I want to, I could clean up and remove some of the other packages that I don't need. So basically the way I remove the packages, I basically just select the package I want to remove and click remove. And I've done that for I don't need except for the lightweight render pipeline and the package manager UI, which I believe is this right here. All right, so now I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go into my um, assets window and I'm gonna create a renderer for the lightweight render pipeline. It's an asset and I'll just call it LRP for short. <clears throat> now this LRP, I'm gonna set my scene to render using this lightweight render pipeline. So I'm gonna go to um, game object, no edit. I'm going to go to project settings and here is the graphics uh, settings and right here at the top I can pick my LRP asset that I created. And now my scene will use the lightweight render pipeline to render whatever I put in the scene. And now the second thing, um, let me just put in some objects. I found my um, 3D object to use from by just typing into the browser free 3D model and I wanted an FBX type and then something like Turbo Squid comes up or free, free 3D models you click there and you know there's plenty of objects to choose from and if I want to I can pick free <laughs> and FBX and basically you could click on something and download it so that's what I did to get my model which I have right here, which is the little mummy man that we saw in the demonstration. So I'm going to drag him in and the mummy man, if I click in the folder, there should be, here we go, the prefab of him. So I'm just going to plop him right there. Then I'm also going to give a little bit of a ground to walk to, for him to stand on there. Let's pick him up a little, no, 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 put that down. Choo. <clears throat> All right, and right now there's no um, texturing on him. And I'm also going to just rotate him so he's looking at the sun. There, so you can see the shadows better. All right. Now, next thing I'm going to do is go back up to my assets level and I'm going to make a shader, a PBR. No, actually, this is the first time I'm doing a um, tutorial where I'm not using the PBR graph, but I'm going to use a unlit graph. So this graph is not paying attention to the light in the scene unless I tell it to. So this is my tune shader I'm going to make. Tune shader graph. And then I'm going to make a material to apply that um, shader graph to. So this will be my tune material. And I'll just apply that to that. And then I'll take the tune material and apply it I got a couple of places to apply it to my model. Let's go one by one. The arms, the body, 
the head, the legs, and then in here somewhere are the eyeballs. Um, spine, neck, head. I think this is the left eyeball. Oh, no, no, not yet. Go into the head, and there we go. Mummy eyeballs. Bam. So now it's unlit, so basically it's just the shadow outline. Okay, so that's my mummy man with the um, materials applied, and I probably could just turn them into a prefab. <clears throat> okay, now that's the prefab using the material that I'm putting in the scene. And um, just for a sanity check here, let me just save everything. All right, so now it's time to look at the shader and work on the shader for this. Oh, before I start doing the shader, let me put in a material from here. I'm going to use this um, Fantastic Four orange thing shader. And then I'm going to... I have this other particular image here that's just uh, three different colors going from white to black, which I'm going to use in my shader. So I'm going to use this as my texture, and this is my color ramp for the tune shader. So now I can open up my shader, and this is what I have by default. All right, so the first thing I'm going to want is to be able to apply a material. So I'm going to add a node for a texture 2D asset and I'm going to pick my Fantastic Four Things material and then for this to go to the um, color I'm going to need a sample texture node and there it is sample texture 2D All right so the output from here can go to here and then the output from here can go to the color and then you'll see now instead of rendering a gray if I save the asset, you'll see that it's rendering orange, okay? But that's not it. We're going to have to do the shading now. So the shading is um, a separate thing. And also, let's turn this into a property, okay? So I convert it to a property, and we'll call this the main texture of our character, all right, of our shader. And by default, it's that orange texture. Now we're going to make another texture that we're going to use for the color ramp. Oh, well, first I have to look for the um, texture 2D asset. And right here, I'm going to use the color ramp. And this is going to be used for our, our lighting. And um, any texture, I will have to translate it with a sample texture node. So let me make another one. Sample texture 2D. Okay, so this texture will come into here. That's the color ramp. This also I will make a property, and it's almost the right name, but I'll just call it color ramp. Okay, so we see that color ramp has three colors to it. Dun dun dun. This one over here. Dun dun dun. Now, um, we're going to combine the color ramp and this um, main texture together to put the color. So we're going to need a, something to combine the two. So we're going to make a multiply node. Okay, and now this could take two inputs. It could take our main texture and it could take our color ramp. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now we have an output that's going to go for the color. And we have the three colors being applied. All right, so now we're going to save that and check that. And whoopsie, something's wrong. Oh, the color ramp doesn't, yeah, that's a default. And that's a default. But when I have it on my character here, I'm going to have to pick the mummy man. And let me move this down. I'm going to have to pick the material and set my textures here for the main texture and my material for the color ramp there that way you could see them on the guy and right now he looks kind of kooky because it's not paying attention to the normals yet so what we're going to do is we're going to move down over here and we're going to add a couple of more nodes we're going to add a node for the normal vectors this will make it so that it pays attention to the normals in the scene boom 
there you go that's the world vector and then we're gonna have to have something for saying the direction of the light in the scene so what we're gonna do is we're going to make a property called a vector four and this will be um light source okay light direction okay and we'll just press that there and we'll use this as a input here so we'll take the normal vector and the light direction and we're going to combine them using a dot product okay so here's one and here's the other so right now i don't have a light direction set so let me go ahead, save this asset, and go back to my scene here. And this should update light direction. Um, wait, 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 why? <sighs> I wanted to use the camera. Hold on now. All right, so by default, let's say that the default light direction is 0.5 and 0.5 see so kind of like the lights coming from that direction as you can see shining now we're going to input we're going to make this light direction a variable from a script that we could set what the light direction is so we're going to call this the underscore tune light direction that's going to be a parameter to our um, shader all right so right now by default it's 0.5, but we're gonna make a script that could actually change the value of this based on where the camera is. But for now we got it as 0.5. We got the dot product. Okay, so we can see kind of how the light's gonna affect. Then, um, uh, la, 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 la. then I need uh, to remap the dot product. Okay, and that's going to go into the UV for my sample texture. See, so now the sample texture is angled the same way that the um, that we're saying the light is in the normal vectors. And <clears throat> let me see how that looks. Let me save that. And then let's see, look back in the scene. And that's looking better. So... Now we kind of have that there. If I move him around though, it's really not paying attention to the light. So now to add the part where um, it pays attention to the light, I'm gonna have to add a script. So let me make sure I save my shader, my tune shader graph. I'll close the window to save space here. And then I'll select my light right here. Just make it my second object. And then I'll add a script to it. Okay, and um, I guess I'll call it my tune light. Um, yeah, tune light uh, script. Okay, and then I'll go into it. All right, and I will simply replace the innards of this tune light with this code. And, you know, you could pause the video to take a chance to type it in. And I think I did call my variable tune light direction. Okay. And I'll save that. And then I will go back to here. And the script's processing. And... Um, will it now work? No, not yet. <laughs> um, let me think. Let me just try rotating the mummy a different way. Um, let's see, see where the shadows are. It's a directional light. And, okay, yeah. See, the shadows are being applied. There you go. Okay, and if I were to rotate on this, there you can see the shadows are being applied in, in the down direction. And now I have like a tune shader for this mummy man. I could apply it to any other 3D object. I could put a sphere in here. 
and then apply the tune material to it. And it has the, the type of um, lighting, you see? One, two, three. Or any other shape I put in there. I'll have the same thing happen to it. So um, just to show you again, the tune shader, this is basically the graph where I have one path here for the texture and one path here for the lighting. And to make the lighting, pay attention to where your actual light in the scene is. I have a property here, which is called the light direction. And it's a vector four. And there is a variable that uh, I set here that I could use in my script to control um, for the light to match the direction of my actual light in the scene. Okay, so that's this. Give you a chance to copy that. And then inside the script that I attach to my light in the scene, I actually update the position up to the shader so that the lighting could update. See, so over here, I use that variable from my shader graph and I set the value of it to vector to the position of the of this light. Okay, which I don't even think I needed the variable light to mention. Yeah, so if I take out the variable, I literally, I just need this line here. Sorry for the extra code before. And then with that there, you can see the shadow, it still works. So I just need this line. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty simple how to do a tune shader graph. Bye-bye.